Greetings and welcome to News MTV. My name is Paidasha Mandwengere, giving you the news bulletin. In the headlines, High Court frees five activists accused of plot against Munangago. Chiwenga in no show at cleanup campaign. In the courts, Chombo claims he's dying. In business, Zimbabwe Miners Federation in deal to access fuel. In sports, warriors go ego hunting. And now for the news in greater detail. Five human rights activists accused of plotting to topple President Emerson Mnangagwa's government have been freed on bail. High Court Judge Justice Tawanda Chitapi freed the activists on 1,000 RTGS dollars each. In his ruling, Justice Chitapi also noted that it was apparent that the activists were tortured upon arrest. The five are George Makoni, Tatenda Mombiarara, Gamchirai Mukura, Nyashampahlo, and Farirai Gumbonzanda. As part of their bail conditions, the activists were ordered to surrender their passports, continue residing at their given addresses, and to report every day at their nearest police stations. All of them uh, were awarded bail. Uh, they will be released, uh, but there are stringent reporting conditions. Ailing Vice President Constantino Chiwenga failed to appear at a cleanup campaign event at which he had been billed to be guest speaker in Arare this Friday. Chiwenga has been in and out of hospital since masterminding the November 2017 coup that toppled former President Robert Mugabe and paved the way for current ZANU-PF leader Emerson Munangagwa to rise to power. The former commander of the Defence Forces instead was represented by minister in his office, Evelyn Glovo. Presidential spokesperson George Charamba early this week said Chiwenga needed time to recuperate. Government has been urged to legalize the activities of artisanal miners commonly known as Makorokoza. The Center for Natural Resources Governance, CNRG Director and Environmental Activist, Farai Magu said government needed to create facilities to allow diamonds in particular to be sold to the state by artisanal miners to stop illegal invasions in the Marange diamond fields in Manika land. Magu's statement follows growing deaths of artisanal miners at the hands of security personnel on accusations of illegal entry into the Chiazwa area. In the courts, former ZANU-PF Secretary for Administration Ignatius Chombo is approached the Supreme Court in his quest to have his passport released. Chombo was last month bundled out of a plane at the Robert Mugabe International Airport by state security agents after a magistrate granted him his passport. The former local government minister's travel document then found its way back to the clerk of court after the seizure. He has been struggling to get it back ever since. Chombo claims his life is in grave danger if he does not go to South Africa for a medical review. He is facing several criminal charges and has been on remand since October last year. Still in the courts, South African-based businessman Frank Boyanga risks being imprisoned for failing to pay a debt amounting to 172,000 US dollars to one person stolen. The businessman has been summoned to appear before the High Court and give reasons as to why he has failed to obey an order by the same court handed down in 2015 to settle the debt. In business, the Zimbabwe Miners Federation ZMF has struck a deal with a local fuel supplier, Glow Petroleum, to allow artisanal miners to access the commodity without hassles. According to ZMF President Henrietta Rushwaya, the five-year deal will allow miners time to concentrate on their work. Players in the industry, ZMF decided to settle for Glow Petroleum. Not because we have known them before, no. In my case, um, today is the second time I'm meeting Mr. Ginara in real life. Um, this was purely based on a business premise and as your representatives 
for the small scale and artisanal miners. We felt that we had to come up with a deal that would benefit the miner out there in the bush. Globe Petroleum Managing Director Aaron Chinara confirmed this, adding the deal was taken after considering the contributions being made by small scale miners towards foreign currency generation. Official figures showed that small scale miners contribute 60% of the country's total gold output. Many people have been asking me how did I manage it because they could see that everything was uh, there, everything was just uh, happening, people, things were being paid. So I've told people that uh, it was through the diaspora funeral cash plan. So I would advise everyone to join this uh, diaspora funeral cash plan. Their policy is good because it took all the weight off my shoulders. In sports, the Warriors of Zimbabwe will Saturday go head to head with the Eagles of Nigeria in a warm-up match ahead of the Africa Cup of Nations final set for Egypt this month. Three-time AFCON champions Nigeria will present Warriors coach Sande Chizambwa and his charges with the kind of challenge they desperately need before they take on the pharaohs of Egypt in the Group A opener at the African Soccer Showcase on June 21. Now the headlines once more. High Court frees five activists accused of plot against Munangagwa. Chiwenga in no show at cleanup campaign. In the courts, Chombo claims he's dying. In business, Zimbabwe Miners Federation in deal to access fuel. In sports, warriors go eagle hunting. Reporting for NewZimbabwe.com, my name is Paidasha Mandwengere. For these and more stories, please do visit our website that is www.newsimbabwe.com and also subscribe to our YouTube channel that is NewsimTV.